logo. Hey, what's up, everybody? Got a big whoopie doo for you today. I'm <laughs> nah, just kidding. Hey, welcome to another edition of Build Your Own Stand Up Paddleboard and Paddle. Hey, drink a favorite beer of choice, because that's what I'm doing tonight. And we're going to run some measurements by because tonight we're making a paddle handle. Yeah, coming right at you. Yeah. Hey, I got this chunk of wood. I'm going to use it for a paddle handle. I think I'm going to make this four and a half inches long. Just want to double check my measurements. I want to find the dead center, which should be three and a half inches. Two and a half inches. Never mind. Or two and three quarters. Uh, just find the center of four and a half inches. You'll be all right. I think you can figure it out. You'll be good. Got me a center line. Now I marked my paddle shaft. Yeah. Okay, I marked my paddle shaft. I'm going to line it up to the center of the paddle shaft. Just to double check, make sure it's even. Looking good to me. Now I'm going to draw the hoop off. I'm going to come off the shaft and I'm making a T shape. Kind of. It's more like uh, the end of Thor's looking hammer thingy. It's like a T, but it's got a curve. Uh, just keep watching. You'll be alright. You'll be alright. You'll figure it out. Alright, now you can see how it looks, now I'm going to show you how I'm, I'm going to do the tip of the handle, or the handle outer edges, tips, I, I don't know, just, you'll figure it out. I'm using a quarter here, I'm going to draw a little circle, place it pretty close to center as I can, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to be doing grinding and you'll grind it in and... You'll figure it out as you as you go. Yep, now I'm doing the other side. Trying to keep that quarter somewhat center. Most people would use uh, a measuring thingy, but, you know, a quarter works just fine, or a penny, or a nickel. It depends on how thick you want the end of the tip when you're done. That's all. Yeah, something like so. Then I'm going to run a teardrop shape at the top. Kind of taper it down into the top of my quarter pattern. Alright. Got me a handle looking shape thingy. Now it's time to get grinded. Oh yeah, I, I, I do have a, a day job that has uh, grinders and whatnot. So I kind of just, on my break time at work, I just kind of film this. This is the quickest way to do it. A little mini belt grinder. If you can find one at Lowe's or Home Depot, man, more power to you. That'd be the way to go.
Alright, I did find something problematic in my paddle. I got voids in the glue. But I'm gonna fix that real quick. I was using an old bottle of glue when I was gluing this thing up. But I'm gonna go and refill those and dress them off and get it ready for the paddle handle. Got the paddle handle and traction. I let it sit up overnight. So here we go. This is what it looks like the next day. Now we're gonna drumble it all off. Gonna feather it in, make it look real nice. There's nothing wrong with sitting down and drumbling. So we got it roughed in, and I'm going to finish this up with the palm sander. We'll clear up the rough spots. And we'll get it right. I'm running out of daylight here. Got a couple little wobblies here and there. A little uneven on the tip on that one spot. I'm going to finish that up, do a little artwork, and there you go. Well, hey, it looks like we're at the end. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching. This is James. I am signing off here. Later, y'all.